Hello all, welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial we will learn how to run Confident Kafka on a local machine. So what we need to do, first of all we need to visit this website, this link and uh, pass your email id, any email id, right, that is for example this is my email id, Ag uh, agree the terms and conditions, start for free, it will take you to a uh, <coughs> download option. Now what we can do? There are two. There are two ways to do it, right? So one is you can da in download the tar file, and you can unzip it and you can run. The second one is always go. You can go for a Docker Compose file. So Docker Compose file that is something we can uh, take in the next session. So for now, let's go with the installation guide. Click here. Here, what you will do? It, you need to follow sequence of steps, right? Wh what to do, what not to do. Now before that, you need to download it. Click this button to download it will download the latest Kafka version now the other uh, the other way is you can do a curl over here uh, you can download the tar file you can download the zip file and you can extract it now for this tutorial here I have downloaded the confident Kafka if you see my confident Kafka so this is my confident Kafka tar file and here I have extracted it into this folder this is so my Kafka is running on it's not running my kafka is downloaded to this folder now it is there in there so what you need to do open a terminal okay now you need we need to move to the directory so let me go to the root directory see download where i have download downloaded it confluent uh, it's it's a config. Come to this directory, move to bin, enter. Now here you need to run. You need to run dot slash confluent and confluent dot start. So it will it will try to bring up the cluster for you. Now it is a single server. Up there. It's a you, it's a single machine, so it it will bring up a single cluster for you. If you go with a um, uh, cloud service, or you have some cloud option, you can go with a distributed one. Now in cloud option, the, we have uh, uh, there are cloud options are there. Uh, Confluent Cloud is there, which is supported by Amazon, AWS, Azure, Microsoft Azure, Google GCP. So that will take in a separate session, right? So let's run how it uh, let's go let's de go and deploy how it's running on the local. Now the moment you start, it will try to bring all the all these servers up, right? All the servers means so Kafka run uh, it it will it will first bring up Kafka, then it will bring up all the supported uh, softwares along with that. For example, connector, uh, KSQL, then uh, we have the schema registry, and so on. Now it will it will try to bring one by one by one. Right. So if you see, it started the Zookeeper, it started the Kafka schema registry, Kafka REST, Connect, and SQL control panel. So oh, sorry, and the control panel. Now what is this control panel? So this control panel is it's it's the uh, you can you can think about uh, think of a uh, core of the system. Now what is uh, what when I say core I means from here you can go to any place. So that's why I said core of here. Now I we could see the control center is up sql is up so everything is up so don't worry about those things right so when uh, when when you when you download an unzip if any extraction file or something bad happens right so it will it will create any problem so what uh, during the time what it do if the files are not found so it will try to grab those files and it will try to make the server up so if it is failing just run it again so the same command try what it will those 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 services are down it will try to bring up if if all of the services are running then it will say okay everything is uh, running so no we don't need anything right if you can see the cluster crowd uh, control center is right ksql is up i think it was not up yet but the status i don't know again it's saying ksql but control center is up zookeeper is up it's already running so that's why it didn't restart but ksql i think something wrong went uh, wrong happened that's why it restarted now to stop this what is the simple command to stop that we will see at the end now our 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 
our server is up. Now let's go to the browser. Run localhost 9021. So control center runs over here. Now, right now we are seeing some uh, this the site cannot be reached. So generally what happens, it takes some time to bring uh, the server up. So let's wait for some time and re refresh the page. We'll see what is happening with the cluster. Like you can see after some time near about 1, 1 1.2 to 1.5 to 2 minutes, it brings up the cluster. Now if you see my cluster is up and running, this is an analytical. If anything would have gone wrong, this uh, it, it, it might be this uh, status 1 unhealthy cluster, 0 healthy cluster, that's why. Now as I said, we have only one uh, the singleton system, that's why we have uh, only one instance is running. Having only one broker. If we go here, you can see broker, topic, connect, case equal, consume, replicator, cluster setting. Now these are the things. So here in the topic, we can create a topic, right? Give a topic name, test topic, topic, topic name, let's create three partition, create, there are other properties are there. You can set all those properties. Let me go and create with uh, default setting, right? So it will create a topic, it will create a topic for you. We can see the messages, whatever we are processing. We can produce a message over here. For example, this we want to put a key as uh, T1, right? In the energy, sorry, you can put a key something one. Produce this message is being produced. The moment you see it, it, the message landed here, means the topic received one message. There is a schema configuration. We'll see that later. What kind of schema and how it will validate the topic. Then we have a configuration, whatever configuration we want to set, change something over here, we can change. So it's to export mode, expert mode. You can see all the LED, uh, advanced features of it. Now, similarly for connect, we can have source connect uh, and sync connect. So that we'll see in the next upcoming tutorial. Now in the control, connect control, you can go, you click here, you can create your connector. Now by default, you can see, you won't see all of those connector. By default, you would see uh, the connector starting from replicator source to mirror source connector. So these are some manual connector that I have installed. How to install these connectors? I'll teach you. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go in the next lesson. We'll see how to install a connector. Now, how in uh, this is something, uh, this is different from the cloud. In cloud, you may see uh, multiple uh, connectors that is by default provided. It pro out of box it provides because we don't need to go and install the in the connectors over there. Now here we can see the connectors are available. Similarly, KSQL, we I'll make a video on this as well. KSQL, uh, how to run the click, uh, how to query a KSQL, how to uh, how to process uh, insert data into a topic, how to pull data from a topic, all this. Now this is a consumer. If we want to run any consumer group, these are the consumer group it created by when we create a topic, it by default it will create a consumer group, and it will. Uh, this is basic uh, Apache Kafka concept, right? Uh, the consumer group it is tied to the to con uh, that works in the to consume the message. Uh, this is normal function. But, but if anybody need, please let me know. I'll make another video on that. Now this is something replicator. We'll go that later. Uh, cluster setting. So what is this cluster setting? What the host, the cluster ID, the what are the bro um, broker default, cell cell balancing. These are the some high terms, right? We'll learn slowly. Uh, in the next tutorial, right? So for now, the, the 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 purpose of this tutorial is to run Kafka, confront Kafka on local, and uh, to see various options. Now, as I said, uh, there are a couple of commands, right? Uh, which I, I I would like to show you. Uh, that is one is uh, when we do right uh, to stop the server and to see the uh, logs, right? Now, uh, this is an option. Uh, config stop okay to stop the server now before that let's see logs minus f sorry let's 
command is confluent logs connect right you can see uh, you can tell the logs it looks like something went wrong over here no need to worry right which will will go through in detail and from the next uh, tutorial onwards right something went up wrong over here i'll have to debug it but don't worry we'll go up with all the features now as i said the command to is confluent stop to stop the broker right so it will bring down one 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 uh, services down and at the end the control center will be stopped now when we then the control center stopped we can come over here we can do one thing from here this it's gone right everything is done now thanks for watching this video i'll make a another video on next tutorial on confident cloud confident cloud series okay thank you so much keep watching please subscribe to my channel